a hamster with overgrown curved teeth. A Be Kind to Pets veterinary educational video sponsored by Topio Vets for vet students and pet owners. Many Singaporeans address older women, much older than themselves, as aunties. These women are usually older than 40 years of age. The senior citizens would dress in certain conservative fashion that would consist of short sleeve blouses and trousers. They are usually more conversant in their dialects or Mandarin. They don't normally surf the web to look for hamster vets as they don't use computers in, or they have not learned it in the past. So, I was much surprised to find an auntie who lived quite distant from Topayo, bringing a plump snow white dwarf hamster to Topayo vets for consultation instead of going to the practice in her neighborhood. Nowadays, there are over 60 veterinary clinics, as in Taipei, where it is more convenient to find a vet. The auntie complained that Mimi does not want to eat and she, she would scatter the seeds and pellets that was fed to her with her front paw instead of eating. Her head was also tilting to the left. The auntie pointed out to Mimi's left side. I could see that Mimi loved food as she weighed much more than the average hamster. She would fill up and was as round as a big hen's egg. So why was she not eating? The head tilts would be painful and she would not be able to grasp the seeds and properly eat. Dr. Daniel anesthetized Mimi, checked that there was no embedded seeds fragment in the cheek pouch, and irrigated the ears. And after five days of oral medication, Mimi recovered. How's Mimi's head tilting nowadays? The vet asked Auntie. She's okay now. No more head tilting? Not at all. After five days of medication, her head is upright and she eats normally. That was good news as it is difficult to treat head tilts in hamsters and rabbits also. Yesterday on May 2nd, this auntie brought Brownie, a one-year-old male dwarf hamster, to consult me, saying he has lost weight day by day. Unlike Mimi, which you treated last week, he weighed 38 grams today. Every day I would give him water by syringe as he would not eat, unlike Mimi who weighs 72 grams when you saw him. I weighed brownie and he was indeed 38 grams. His body looked so long as he was very thin. My first diagnosis would be an ingrown front teeth and so I opened brownie's mouth. I saw two upper front teeth growing backwards and upwards hitting the heart palate. The lower front teeth were short and normal in wear. He cannot eat because his upper front teeth cannot bite the seeds as they are overgrown and have curved inwards and outwards, I said. I saw Brownie, Dr. Daniel anesthetized him and clipped the teeth and got the action video for Auntie. This is the second case as I treated another hamster with a similar malcation problem. Clipping his teeth will resolve his, eat his not eating problem. Today, 
A bright blue sunny Saturday morning on May the 3rd, 2014, I phoned the auntie. Is Brownie eating? I expected a positive reply. Yes, yes, she said happily. He ate a small piece of broccoli. I need to buy something for him to chew. Do you know? He beat me when I tried to clean his belly button. If Brownie can bite, it's a good news, I said. He should be able to crack open the sunflower and melon seeds. Chewing such seeds will be more useful to his teeth as he can wear down the teeth. I need to buy him a chewing toy, auntie said. Some hamster owners buy mineral blocks or wooden sticks for the hamster to chew upon. In this way, the hamster does not chew on the wire cages, making them rusty. A hamster tooth grows continuously and if it does not worn down, worn down by eating hard food, it grows and grows and curves inwards or sideways as there was what happened with to Brownie and the other hamster. Twentieth May twenty fourteen, eleven AM. Okay, as regards uh, medical and surgical cases of hamsters in Singapore treated at Tua Payoh Vets. Now most of them, in fact, so far the the one in the video, the two hamsters with the ingrown teeth, they are quite rare, rarely presented to the vets. So this 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 uh, screen will show that most of the cases are actually tumors, hamster tumors. Hamster tumors, uh, there are a few hundred cases of it in, at the website and uh, this, this comprises about 90% uh, of the dwarf hamster cases in dwarf bio vets. The, the other 10% will be mainly, uh, you have the surgical cases for warts and also tumors in the case. Then uh, we have uh, under the medical cases, we usually have skin problems, abscesses, abscesses where they have these uh, swellings with pus, and uh, for example this one, you can see that uh, the skin is infected badly with bacteria, and uh, another common medical case is cheek pouch problems, where the cheek pouch gets uh, impacted or infected with cheek pouch problems and uh, we, we have to take out the seeds or the or the or treat the infection. Then uh, the other case is eye injuries because sometimes the hamsters live together so they fight or they rub their own eyes so they have this eye injury and uh, the other the medical case would be skin diseases. Other than that, they are mostly tumors, as you can see. Tumors form, form the bulk of the cases here. Tumors on the hand and other parts of the body. So, this, com this video just shows that uh, very unusual to have this uh, ingrown teeth problems in Dwarf hamsters, although it's quite common in rabbits, rabbits malocclusion, in, in growing uh, incisors are very common in rabbits. So this video just shows two cases and how it's treated. Now mainly you need to anesthetize the hamster, otherwise uh, they may cut the tongue when you clip the teeth. But of course, uh, in some cases, the vet may take a, take a chance and. Uh, and uh, hope for the best, but uh, I will advise anesthesia or sedation so that you can clip off the inward and upward growing upward incisors as in the in these two cases. That's the end of the video.